Hey guys, what is up? Leave the Lance Corporal here. Uh, this is coming rapid fire because I'm a bit behind. First off, apologies that I've been behind on a few things. College exams have been over the past two weeks, and unfortunately, real life has to come ahead of YouTube because, well, for my future, real life has to do things, and YouTube isn't anything sustainable for a job or whatnot. So, anyway, what you're looking at is uh, we're in the Eden editor right now, the mission file for the guerrilla war uh, that will be started on Tuesdays, replacing Vietnam temporarily and this is because vietnam even with 32 bit after the 64 bit update has been completely unstable to do anything i don't know what the issue is i've tried to fix it but i'm just going to let it be for a bit and we're just going to do this instead in the meantime so we tried this in the past didn't really work but that was completely unmodded we've added a few mods to Settled to this, this is going to be mainly addressed to my player base, but also an update for anyone who cares. So, we're going to be doing the Gorilla War in about two hours, so just a real quick brief. Um, you're going to spawn over here. Your main objective for today is to hit this. It's going to be moderately defended. It's the Telos military base. Hit and run, guys. You're going to hit it, come in. Go around these domes, check for supplies. I will be giving a briefing of a checklist of what you need to consider grabbing in terms of vehicles and loot. I will be also making a few points of that as I go through uh, just all the settings and what you need to know. <clears throat> and then after that, quick hit, quick run. You're going to run somewhere away from here, find a spot, and that'll be established as your respawn point and as you plan out the uh, local area. You know, you'll be trying to take over Altus as a guerrilla faction. Uh, things to note, one, number one, your overall goal, there are currently two ways to win this campaign. Uh, there will be more, but they are currently undiscovered to you right now. So the main way to win is to kill the Colonel, what's his name, uh, in CSAT, if we just go to story. Ah, uh, wait, no, I'm sorry, AAF. AAF, you gotta kill the AAF commander because AAF live on Altus, Jesus. Uh, it would be Colonel Ak, whatever the fuck, however the fuck you say that, but he will be somewhere on Altus. He will be down in every mission file. Uh, I've got locations, a list of where he will be. I'm using a lot of stuff from the previous campaign uh, that was unused, so there will be specific positions he'll be at, and I'll only put him in if you guys come near him or near his position. Or if your uh, operations you decide to do are relevant. And the other way to win the campaign is to slaughter 75% of the AAF military. And uh, that's, <laughs> I can't give you exact numbers, but I can assure you that'll take, if you choose that method, it'll probably take about two and a half, three months. But... Uh, by that time, a different win or lose perspective uh, will come in, or alternative, I should say, and that's what will happen. So, real quickly, things to note on the map, um, we're running, I'll talk about mods in a second, but we are running alive, as well as I will be putting things down in specific areas. Three general areas I want to talk about. Number one, military bases, expect there to be enemies, but feel free to question me about it. I will be your CIA representative from the US trying to help you topple this oppressive communist dictatorship. I don't know, whatever the hell the US hated. <laughs> Hates in the freaking 2075 era, but military bases will have supplies for you to uh, hit and run for, grab stuff that you need. Uh, second thing, cities, they'll have civilians, but they'll have local loot, some vehicles, uh, civilian vehicles you can commandeer, uh, possibly a few military patrols. It depends on the areas that you go, if they're near military bases or if they've had a lot of harassment in the past, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Third type of location, factories or the storage depots, these will be pretty supply heavy. Uh, I'll also mention if one area has more supplies than usual, you know, like the factory complex near Athera or the storage complex near Chakia. There's another one over here, factory by core. There's a few of these different locations, but they will have, a, you know, a lighter garrison than a military installation. But they'll have uh, more supplies than you would think. And uh, if you do them with an objective I give you, it'll obviously have more supplies. So this uh, campaign will be pretty free form uh, in terms of unit composition. 
you have your leader, which is a model of Stravo, and then I will be a model of Miller. I will be giving you ideas and suggestions for you to do, but it is entirely up to you. You just got to hit that military base, pick a spot to set up shop. I'll drop the respawn point down. Um, I would recommend after hitting Telos, you go somewhere up here because, I mean, if you look at this open terrain, it's close to roads but away from, like, any heavy military bases except for that small installation. But there is plenty of room to hide out in the northern area, or you could just completely hightail it, just... Be aware of local military areas, especially in between Lakia, these two bases, this air base. I don't expect to see anyone, the guys pushing to the west because of all of these fucking military installations. But campaign is entirely up to you guys, so we'll see how you play it out. Uh, regardless, uh, also you can't really hide in cities. You can't have your main base in the city. That'll... Um, improve suspicion meters and you know your base might be attacked more often than not you can set up multiple bases as well um really it'll just be asking a lot of questions and we'll kind of play as you go because this campaign has a shit ton of factors that can happen so uh the ops themselves when you go on a mission they will be quote unquote one life only because, um, especially for the first one, um, just going into any, like, major military installations, and then once you, like, maybe half of you die, and then half of you get back, you can then take a reinsert vehicle and drive back. But remember, you're going to spawn with practically jack shit. I mean, if we look at the loadouts of one of these soldiers, he just has clothes. No gun, no launcher, no secondary, just the clothes. Clothing with nothing, no knocks, no night vision, not even any shades, no map, no GPS, no communication method, no navigation, and no watch. You'll all have to loot that. The only people that get preset stuff is myself and Stravo, and the only reason the leader gets stuff is, one, he's the leader, and two, he needs the long range to communicate with me. So other things to note, uh, explosive specialists, these are the uh, mechanic slots, that's for vehicle repair. Uh, these white Shemeg guys with the doctor suits, so those are your doctors. Uh, those are regular soldiers with the grill. I just thought it'd be funny. But um, other than that, let's talk about the settings of the campaign. Quick things to note. Uh, let's just go through what we got. Advanced throwing, advanced fatigue with a slight increase in the recovery factor to help you guys. Advanced ballistics, advanced hearing, my game master slot, pointing system, friendly fire messages because I will be punishing people that cock up. Your MK6 settings, make sure you bring your fucking uh, range cards. Tagging system, zoo settings for myself. Cargo settings, very important to note, you will be able to load crates into vehicles so long as they aren't too heavy for quicker transportation. That's going to really help you guys out in hit and run tactics. And I better see fucking quick hit and run tactics, especially with this setting. Just literally go into the base, grab a vehicle, drive it next to a crate, load the crate in, and then drive away. That process should take no more than like four or five minutes. Uh, your rearm settings, fuel settings, repair settings. Again, note the engineer only slots. That will be for the engineer mechanics that we just saw. Advanced medical settings. Now, I really did want to enable advanced wounds, enable surgical kits and whatnot, but this is a tier one op, technically. So I think the hardest I will do is have you guys have a shit ton of different medical supplies you need to look out for and loot via enabling the advanced medical system and all out packs for anywhere. But that also is a reason why you need these doctors. We have our alive modules is just so I can save the custom mission file uh, after we do a debrief. As well as the player settings. Um, I will say for the first test today, I'll talk about this in the debrief. Load all of your shit in crates. And that's just so I can, you know, test this properly, make sure I'm doing it right. Your revive settings, it's set to five minutes. You got five minutes to revive someone unless you're you doing the um, CPR timer, that'll increase that time. Medical setting, uh, Christ. Medical settings, advanced. Medical settings themselves are, are medic settings basic. Again, no advanced stuff. Just advanced medical settings in general. No AI unconsciousness. If you, he goes down, he'll go down, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then you'll get your medical menu. So other than that, uh, talking about some simple attributes, I will not be running the garbage system. However, if you leave an area, I will be deleting bodies to consolidate frames. 
Uh, this will all be run in 64-bit. If you have any questions about anything during the op, just ask your commander, and he can radio in and ask me, because I'm... This is just basically an extended D&D &D in a guerrilla warfare campaign. But uh, on a side note, not the fact, that, not only the fact that um, a lot of people ask for this in my player base, but I've also seen a lot of people in general across the internet ask for something like this. So we're going to give it another shot. To be perfectly honest, I think that they're going... <laughs> Uh, we, we did this campaign, as I said, a long time ago, and it horribly failed. I mean, to the point where they had their base up here, and they were attacking a military installation over here, and they just went in, dug in, they didn't take any of the supplies out, and then they took the vehicles as there were fucking VTOLs flying over, following them all the way to this base, and it got fucking hammered because stupidity, so... We'll see how this all plays out. We've got a lot of different factions you might fight. And be aware, you're not the only guerrilla faction trying to do stuff. So you might have to fight other FIAs. So be very careful in that regard. But any other questions, ask me in the comments or ask me on our freaking forums. Because again, this is mainly addressed to the players. Uh, I apologize, i got to get this out right away and then make sure it's working on the server, which it was. So hopefully it didn't break in the last 20 minutes, which I will be perfectly honest, actually fucking happens sometimes. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Go operate operationally. And uh, if you've got any questions about the mod set, for example, that's also on the damn forums. And there is a freaking list of uh the mods that you can download and it'll automatically import them all for you so again thank you so much guys go operate operationally i will try to resume my normal upload schedule at the end of this week because that's when the exams stop at least for another two to three weeks and then finals kick in and we're back in the same goddamn boat but uh go operate operationally <laughs> take care guys